What is happening guys, DJ Technic ZRT here. Yes, back from the dead. I have been in hiatus for like eight months because there's been no zombies, so there's really been no reason for me to be on until until now. So I'm sure that everyone's watching this video, you've picked up Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, you've unlocked the zombie mode, as I like to call the novelty zombie wave that we all get. It's only a novelty. In my theory, it's only going to be a novelty. DLC for the game, I believe, will strictly be multiplayer and it will strictly be gun unlocks. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think we're going to get any zombie DLC just because now we have this news that just came out today um, that Triarch Studio had Mark Lamia to talk at DICE Summit 2015 about the development process behind zombies. Now before I go into the DICE news, um, I know that Sledgehammer and Treyarch are really good friends, just because after the launch of Advanced Warfare, Treyarch had tweeted, actually, I forgot who had tweeted this, but um, they had actually given a couple pints to Sledgehammer Games in this picture here, and I think what had happened is was they had a little bit of leeway, talked to Treyarch, and was like, hey, let's put a zombie wave in there, just because the zombie fans have been craving this, you know, because we, we're so used to getting it every other year now we're getting it over every three years so i think that was kind of nice to actually give us a little taste of it just so we're not in the dark so much but i think that's what had happened triarch was like here's sledgehammer go ahead uh do some zombie stuff for us uh and then maybe just maybe if there is a small storyline in advanced warfare it might progress from advanced warfare into call of duty black ops but you have to understand that if that happens with triarch's game then we're going to have a whole new storyline. It won't pick up from Black Ops 2. And I do know a lot of us follow the Black Ops story, Treyarch story, very closely. So I think if we were to get some sort of new storyline, um, I wouldn't kind of be upset about that. I kind of would be kind of excited, but I still would want to see what the progression kind of was in the old zombies because, I mean, that's, that's a huge cliffhanger to leave there if you guys had finished Origins, the Easter egg, the hardcore zombie players that you guys are. But back to the DICE news, um, the 2015 Summit Without Borders is kind of DICE's conference. Uh, they do uh, video game developers come around the world, come together to discuss state of industry and processes, how the products were crafted, created. DICE 2015 will take place February 3rd through 5th. It's kind of like a gathering. Um, it's kind of like uh, the development conference, kind of. But Mark Lamia will be there. And fuck, if you don't know who Mark Lamia is, then then fuck, I, I, I don't know if you're a real zombie fan. But here's his face right here. And uh, he is the studio head um, for Treyarch. And he, he pretty much uh, decides what's going on in, in the games and, and maybe where the you know, storyline is actually going to be going. But here is the quote. This is Mark Lamia, studio head, studio head of Treyarch Games. Uh, will present Treyarch's Zombies following the fun to win hearts and brains where he will explore the highly unorthodox development process behind Treyarch zombie mode and the unique creative dialogue the studio has with the global audience of zombie fans so this february 3rd through the 5th is a very exciting time because we will get some development input of what's going on in um, the next Treyarch's zombie game and we might actually get a snippet, well maybe not really too much a snippet, we might get a model of a zombie. I'm thinking that we probably will, just to show maybe textures um, and realism and maybe what, you know, anything new that the zombies could actually do. But this is incredibly exciting news. Uh, this is definitely something that every zombie fan should definitely look forward to. Mark it on your calendars because it's, it's definitely going to be a good event um, for zombie fans. And I think that this is it we are in the, the the stretch to our new zombies advanced warfare is out that means we have less than one year before we get our new zombies game and and honestly and this is coming from my perspective i haven't bought an xbox one yet i have ps4 but um i definitely respect what xbox has been doing in the last you know year with uh, phil spencer being the lead of it and I wouldn't mind getting an Xbox One at that time for zombies if, you know, this this deal is still struck with with Treyarch, Call of Duty, getting DLC first. Because never no one ever wants to be left behind in the story mode, especially if, you know, Xbox is going to be definitely getting that first. So we'll see what happens. Uh, this is definitely good news for everybody, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. But uh, thanks for watching the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Are you guys going to be watching the 2015 Summit Without Borders? This is DJ Technic ZRT for Lab Z, and I'm out. Follow the research on Twitter at Bashar Zanal.
Subscribe now.